Poof. Hey, how's it going, amigos? How you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a great, wonderful Friday. Uh, today, we're going to be doing ourselves uh, sous vide ribs. So, or we'll sous vide barbecue ribs. Um, so, those have been cooking down. They're already cooking. So, I put them on last night and they're going to go for about uh, 8 to 12 hours. We've already had about 9, so they're going to have a few more hours left to go. Um, I'm going to go through what I went with you. What I, well, I'm going to go through with you what I did last night. So, uh, very simple. Pretty much just adding the rub, backpacking, and then straight into the uh, sous vide. Um, and if you want to do this in your oven, I've got the options on my recipe to do it in the oven as well. So I'll put that on my website later on tonight. Also bearing in mind, my website will be down later tonight for maintenance. So hopefully it'll be the last lot of maintenance. So, um, but it'll be back up for, for the weekend at least. Um, so in addition, we're gonna do homemade coleslaw um, with a few little twists and turns in it instead of regular onions. I actually prefer using spring onions, if I've got any, I think I do. But um, if not, we'll go with the regular ones. We're also gonna make a homemade mayonnaise. We're gonna have some corn on the cob to boil down and to cook. Um, we're, in addition, we're gonna be doing some barbecue beans and there's something else. Oh, cornbread. We're gonna make some homemade cornbread as well. So quite a few nice little selection ready for you guys and gals, ready for the 4th of July, if you're celebrating it. What was I gonna talk about? So these uh, ooh, sous vide ribs. I've been cooking down since 12 o'clock last night, so they've had about 10 hours now. So these are our 10 hours, and they're feeling they're feeling pretty tender. They could do with a little bit longer, I feel. Maybe another another hour or two, and then we can knock them off, and then we're going to glaze them and, bar and, and, and roast them. So, and if you haven't got a sous vide, the great thing you can do this in the oven. It's going to take you about probably three or four hours until they're nice and tender. You can do it exactly the same, 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. So. Um, we actually did um, use Salty Dog's uh, rub on this last night. So Joey's uh, Rescue Rub. So if you're wondering what's in there, pretty much the Salty Dog Bourbon, salt and pepper, sugar, garlic, cayenne pepper, dry mustard, onion powder, and paprika. So, and if you want to buy this product, that's on the uh, Salty Dog website, which has been listed in there. Thank you, Colonel. I appreciate it. So uh, feel free if you want to go buy it, you can do. Coleslaw, let's crack on with that first. Uh, I'm gonna go for like a red cabbage slaw today, so. And I'd say about two large carrots. These aren't very large, these are very kind of small, so. Um, I'm probably gonna recommend three or four. But if you've got like two, two good sized carrots, then that should be ample enough for you. Right, so for the uh, cabbage, we're gonna go for about a quarter of a head. I really don't think you're gonna need a half, unless you're gonna be really like smashing out a few portions. Then I'd probably say half, but to be honest with you, if you've got a good sized cabbage like this, I would probably go for a quarter. A quarter will be ample enough. So also you want to take out the core. Why? It's very tough. You can eat it. You can eat it if you want to. Nothing's stopping you. I just find I prefer to take it out. My own personal preference. Right, so I've cut this in half. I'm going to do more of a short uh, chiffonade. So we're just going to kind of cut it down. If you want to keep it long, long grain, long grain, uh, long slice, that's fine. I've just cut it down a little bit so we can have a shorter slice. And if you want to do this on the Japanese mandolin, go for it. But please watch your fingers. Alrighty, let's peel these down. Now, if you want to use the Japanese mandolin, go for it. I might actually use the Japanese mandolin on... I'm debating about it. The worst thing I hate putting through the Japanese mandolin is these carrots. But they do come out a nice little fine grain, so... Um, it's up to you. Or you can just grate it, you know? Absolutely fine with grating it. Right. Watch them fingers. I know I said I was going to go for a quarter of an onion. These are quite small, so I've gone for half. So, Two uh, pinches of salt. I'm just going to give this a nice little mix up. So we're going to put this in the fridge. It's going to pull out all that beautiful moisture in there. I'm going to give this all a nice little mix up though first. And then uh, we're going to come back to it later. I'm going to get some kitchen roll out and just kind of dab it dry. Or if you've got like J cloths or anything like that, just to kind of like take up that liquid, that's absolutely fine. Um, I guess I could get the corn on next so we can just boil down our corn. So I've got four corns here. Once we boil them down, they're ready to go. Um, and you can just either like finish them off by char grilling them or you know whatever you fancy or brush them with a bit of butter. Or One thing I haven't added to the coleslaw, which I did want to add because I was doing a hatch green chili coleslaw. Oops. I was going to add the rest of the uh, chopped chili I had in the fridge. It's not a lot in there. I'm coming back over and I'm going to start on the beans. So I'm just going to trim that up because it's a little bit of a bad bit on that uh, garlic. So 
give us a little cheeky grate. With our onion, we're going to cut it across into layers. Uh, the more layers you get into this, the more finer dice you're going to get it, and then we're going to cut it vertically, which I've just already done. And then just pretty much cut it across, and you should have a nice little fine dice right there. And you're like, well, okay, that's good, Chef, but what about the end? I'm glad you asked, so I'll show you now. Uh, so you want to cut it down exactly the same. Cut it one way, cut it the other. There you go. It's a beautiful dice, all done. Right, a tablespoon of oil into the uh, into the pan. Uh, we're gonna add our onions and garlic to it and sweat them off. Right, so these are sweating down. It's gonna take a couple of minutes just to soften up. While we're doing that, we can get the other things together. So, beans are going in. Two teaspoons of honey. So one teaspoon of uh, mustard. Yellow mustard, Dijon, whatever you prefer. Oof, it's coming out flying. Tablespoon of ketchup. Don't go too, too wild with that. Three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. I think I've got enough. About a tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar because it's all I got, but you know, cider vinegar would be optional, probably. Cook that down very slowly, slow and low. We're also going to add a little touch of um, water to this because, like, you'd be like, but there's a perfect, perfect consistency right now. But uh, we're actually going to add a little touch of water because we're going to let these cook down, really tenderize those beans. Um, so we want about a cup of water or 250 ml on a low heat. By the time this comes together and all those beans are nice and tender, it'll be looking absolutely divine. So don't don't panic, don't worry. It's not going to be looking like this forever. So also I'm going to dice up a little bit of smoked ham, um, some uh, black forest ham I got for uh, two slices. So you can cut this down however you want. You can cut it into a dice, into strips. Options are up to you, chat, okay? I'm gonna pop this straight into the uh, the beans pan. And that can cook down with all those flavors, so. There we go. Oh, cornbread. I need to turn the oven on, which is very hot. I actually need to take the ribs out, because I don't want them overcooking. So they've been cooking for about, since 12, nearly 12 hours now. Nearly 12 hours they've been in the um, in the water bath. So uh, I'm gonna take them out, let them drain off, and uh, we're gonna get them roasted off in the oven with a little bit of barbecue, not long. Don't wanna put them in the oven for long just to kind of glaze them up for about five, 10 minutes. There we go, that'll do. So set that aside and we can pour our cornbread mix in there when we're done with it. All right, 250. Grams. Is that enough? Almost. Right, 250's there. 254. You lied to me. You said 249, and now it's uh, you're telling me lies. There we go. Alright, 250. Alright, 135 grams. Uh, pinch of salt. And also two teaspoons of bacon powder. Not bacon powder, chef. Uh, chat. Bacon powder. Weigh ingredients. We're going to need one egg, 80 ml of oil, 250 ml of milk. And I'm going to go for two tablespoons of honey as well in here. So uh, let's crack on with that now. No puns intended. So we're just going to give that a little bit of a whisk. I'm going to pour that straight into the... Uh, up. Right, I don't want to mix it too much, so that's all incorporated beautifully. Uh, what we're going to do... Right, we just need to make the mayonnaise next, and I think we can start pulling things together, hopefully. So that's going in the oven. Um, it's going to be cooking for about 30-40 minutes. Um, my corn is going to be coming out very shortly. Right. Do, do. Three tablespoons of vinegar. I feel like three is quite a bit, but I'm gonna go for two to begin with. If I need to add a bit more, that's fine. Why are you using rice vinegar, chef? Because it's the only vinegar I got in the household right now. Very small amount of garlic in there. Bloop. Don't go too crazy with it. I'll set that aside, use that for other things. One, two. All right, a little bit of lemon juice, so a teaspoon of lemon juice. Pinch of salt. Um, is that everything I want in there? I think so. 
Uh, canola oil, veg oil, whatever you got. Just gonna give this a blend. Uh, because it doesn't have any hole in the top where we can just drizzle it little by little and blend at the same time. We're just going to add a little by little, put it back on, blend it, repeat the process. Until it's emulsified. Right. But defy normal, right? Defy normal, there's no such thing. Oh my goodness me, chat. Look at that. Oh, they smell amazing. Mmm. Oh, baby. With all this beautiful flavor, we're just going to add this to the beans. All that beautiful flavor going into the beans, chat. These are sous vide ribs. I've just glazed them. They're going in the oven for about 5-10 minutes. Not very long at all. They don't need a lot, long time. Um, so they're going in now. I'm also going to get my char griller out for the uh, corn. Cut up my cornbread. Uh, we need to mix up the coleslaw as well, so I guess we can do the corn, cornbread, sorry, the uh, coleslaw first. Just drain off any extra, excess moisture, and then we can mix up the mayonnaise. But I'm just going to kind of pretty much take out the excess moisture, so just give it a little kind of dab dry. I don't want to squeeze it. If you squeeze it and like pull it really hard, you're going to lose that kind of textures to it. It's going to go very floppy very quickly. All right, let's mix up the uh, mayonnaise, so it's the fresh mayonnaise. With the um, with the coleslaw, we might need a little touch more, but we'll see. We made quite a bit of mayonnaise here today, so that's fine. It's gonna be enough. Definitely, I'd say eight people. Oh my goodness me, chat! Look at that baby right there. Oh, that honey was perfect for it. Mmm. Mm. Can I get, can I fit four in there? Yeah, I can, okay. Let's play it up, chat. It's ready to go. Oh my God, chat, we've got to have like a up close of this. Look at these beans. Barbecue beans are looking so good. Those little cheeky ribs right there. For sure, oh God, it's so tender. To add even more flavor to it, oh my goodness me. Barbecue beans all the way, baby. That's the way it's going. Oh, beautiful chili slaw. Not much excess liquid because mixing it last minute. Should we have two, chat? I feel like two will be as ample enough, right? There we go. We did the uh, sous vide barbecue ribs and we used the... Uh, the Salty Dog Spice Company's rub. Uh, which we put in here from Joey's Rescue Rub. So if you want to buy this, exclamation mark, salty dog in chat. So feel free to go visit their website if you want to order this. Feel free to do so. They've got some lovely salts and spices up on their website, so feel free to go check it out. Use the discount code CHEF10 for some discount. Um, we rubbed the ribs last night, 12 o'clock, before I went to bed. It's been cooking sous vide 12 hours on 60 Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit. After they're done, we took them out, we glazed them with a bit of barbecue sauce in the oven, five minutes, and we put the juices into the barbecue beans. As for the barbecue beans, we did an onion, two garlic cloves, um, we also put in there a tablespoon of vinegar, uh, two, two, te two, is it two teaspoons, yeah, two teaspoons of honey, a tablespoon of ketchup, um, about three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, and a teaspoon of mustard. Uh, two slices of thick cut black forest ham, we, we cut them up and chopped them in there. And obviously the pinto beans and cook that down slow and low and juices from the, the ribs into there. Uh, corn, boiled for 40 minutes, char grilled, butter, Bob's your uncle, easy peasy. Cornbread, straightforward, 150 grams of flour, 150 grams of cornmeal, medium grind. Um, 135 grams of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of bacon powder, and then that's the dries, and then we mixed it with one egg, 80 ml of oil, 250 ml of milk, two tablespoons of honey. Mix the two together. 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit in the oven for about 30, 40 minutes. Um, coleslaw, dead simple. Carrot, cabbage, and we used onion, but I put spring onions on my recipe, because I like a milder onion in my personal opinion. Uh, salted it, two pinches of salt, let it drain off, then we dabbed it through the kitchen roll, and then we made a homemade fresh mayonnaise. So. Uh, two egg yolks, two teaspoons of vinegar, 
uh, two teaspoons of yellow mustard, actually two tablespoons of vinegar, sorry. Um, a quarter of uh, garlic clove grated down, a uh, teaspoon of lemon juice, and pinches, two pinches of salt, or pin one pinch of salt to begin with, and then add oil until it pretty much emulsifies little by little until it's thick. Folded through the uh, coleslaw, ready to go. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it, chat. So, um, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed the food. Let's give a little try now and, and see how it goes. Look at it, it's just like falling apart. Look at it. So, so good. Oh my goodness me. Oh my god. Mm. Those ribs are super tender. Oh my goodness me. 12 hours, so worth it. Right, let's go in the beans because I've been dying to try these. I haven't tried them yet. Nice and thick, delicious, they smell good. Oh my god, chat. Chef, you're double dipping, I am, but these are gonna go very quickly. Have a great rest of your day, chat. Thank you so much for hanging out. Always appreciated. Um, stay safe, happy, have a great 4th of July, and I will see you next week on Tuesday, Monday for YouTube. Exclamation mark YT and chat if you uh, don't miss it. But anyway, chat, have a great rest of your week, weekend. Much loves, and bye for now, chat. Chat, take care. See you soon. <laughs>